welcome back to a brand new episode on British culture. Today we're looking at Britain since 1945. Britain and the British have changed profoundly since 1945. Main reasons were a large boom in population and the society expecting wider social reforms. In 1948, the National Health Service was born under a new Labour government and the government took into public ownership the railways, coal mines and gas, water and electric. Britain had a conservative government from 1951 to 1964. The 1950s were a period of economic recovery after the war and increase in prosperity for the working people. The decade of the 1960s was a period of significant change. Today it still remains as the most defining decade in Britain. It's also known as the swinging 60s and is also associated with the birth of British pop music and fashion. Two well-known pop music groups during this time were the Beatles and the Rolling Stones. Economic growth brought rising wages and in a state of nearly full employment, people had higher incomes. This led to a rise in consumer culture, which means people had more money and time to spend on goods and leisure activities. Social laws in 1960s were also liberalised the position of women in the workplace were also improved and laws were reduced for divorce and abortion in England, Scotland and Wales. New styles of architecture were also introduced including a boom in high-rise buildings. The use of concrete and steel were also becoming more common. In the late 1960s, government passed new laws to restrict immigration into Britain. This meant that the people migrating from West Indies, India, Pakistan and what is now Bangladesh was dramatically reduced. Immigrants were required to have a strong link to Britain through birth or ancestry. Despite this, during the early 1970s, Britain admitted 28,000 people of Indian origin who were forced out of Uganda. The 20th century led to many inventions that have changed the world. Let's have a look at a few of these. The structure of the DNA molecule was discovered in 1953 through work at British universities in London and Cambridge. Britain and France developed Concorde, the world's only supersonic passenger aircraft. It first flew in 1969 and started carrying passengers in 1976. The inventor of the World Wide Web, Tim Berners-Lee, is British. Information was successfully transferred via the web on 25th of December 1990. Well that's it for this week's episode. Next week we'll be looking at life in Britain since 1979. I'll see you next week for a brand new episode.